This is a lecture about the DC machine testing. Let's the DC machine testing or the DC mode machine testing will help in finding no load losses or stray loads which mainly include hysteresis, ED current, friction and vintage losses. So these kind of testings are applicable to both DC motor and DC generator. And we will talk about the sign burn testing which will be mainly used to test the shunt motors and the compound wound motors which are cumulatively compound which have a constant flux or the flux do not vary much with the armature current. Also these tests help in finding the efficiency of the machine. Also other parameters can also be found out testing and various different tests are carried out for that. We will look into the swine burns test or the no load test in which the machine is not exposed or connected to any load. This is the diagram for the swine burns test. And if you look closely into the diagram, if you look closely into the diagram, you find that there is a supply voltage and there is a ammeter A1 which measures the field field current and there is an ammeter which measures the uh, supply current to the armature or IA0 or I0 and the machine is rotated at the rated speed and there are two ammeters which measures the field current and the supply current to the armature and there is a voltage voltmeter which will measure the voltage across the armature that is VA and all these parameters are measured as part of this test uh, so I0 is measured by the ammeter A1 I A2 and the field, by, field current ISH so the shunt current is measured by the ammeter A1 so the I0 minus ISH this will give the current IA0 and this will be the current which will be flowing through the armature that is a supply current minus the field current is equal to the armature current the supply voltage is equal to V and the power input to the armature will be V into that's the supply voltage into the current which flows through the armature that is I0 minus ISH and the power input to the field will be VISH so you can find the power input to the armature and the power input to the field so the, the power input or the no load power input will supply the losses in the core the friction losses, the windage losses, the armature CU losses and the armature CU losses is equal to the current which flows in the armature IA0 square into the resistance of the armature so by sub so subtracting the armature CU losses from the power which is supplied you will get the constant losses as power which is supplied to the motor is V I0 and by subtracting the I0 IA square IA, I0 minus ISH square into R the current which flows into the armature square divided by the resistance you will get the constant losses the constant losses are the hysteresis ED current and friction and windage losses now how you will find the efficiency of the motor and the generator in this case and it can be found out by using the test results the efficiency of the motor to find out the current IA is taken as the current I0 minus ISH for mo motor and I, I0 plus ISH for the generator that is the supply current minus the field current is for the motor and the supply current plus field current for the generator because generator is output outputting the current and first you can find the motor efficiency which can be written as if the input is VI and the losses is equal to IA square RA that is the armature CU losses plus the WC which was a friction and uh, the windage or the constant losses and the efficiency can be founded as input that is a VI minus the losses divided by input this is for the motor and this is an easy method to find out the efficiency of the shunt machines and this is done during the testing phase uh, or before commissioning of the machine to find the rated values again it can be written as VI minus IA square RA minus WC upon VI VI is the input in this case V is the supply voltage and IA is the current which flows through the armage current which is supplied to the motor and the efficiency of the generator can be written as output upon output plus, output plus losses so it is VI 
divided by vi plus i a square r a plus w c which is the losses of the armature so this way you can find out both the efficiency of the motor and the generator using this sign sign burns test that's all about swine burns test if you like this video please do subscribe like and comment